Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Portal. If uh, if you've played this game before, I'm uh, probably not going to show you anything new. If you haven't played this game before, definitely watch and uh, pick it up when you get a chance. It's uh, pretty inexpensive on Steam right now, and it's a very, very fun, very uh, mentally intensive game uh, at some point. So, uh, again, check it out. We're going to jump right in here, start a new game. Um, I'm going to leave the commentary alone when they're talking as much as possible, so you can get as much of the game as you can. And uh, we start, we wake up here, we got a little countdown timer over there, and uh, we're in a room. And there's no way out of the room. And they're going to teach us how to move. Okay, great. Woohoo. Uh, you can also pick stuff up with E. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. All right, so you can see the orange portal there. Um, there's the blue portal where I'm going to come out of, and you can see yourself. Uh, you can actually view up to nine iterations of the portals, depending on how you have your graphics settings set. Um, yeah, you look at there's different surfaces. Uh, only certain sur surfaces can be, uh, can be portaled. Um, obviously they got cameras, they're watching me. People up in the glass and stuff, looks like. Okay, cool, let's move on. We got a big giant button. And, uh, block. And down, okay. Hey, here's a block. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Okay. So we can't take cubes in between levels and uh, those Emancipation Girls will also wipe out any currently active portals you may have. Um, each, uh, each room, each test has its own little signs and stuff. A uh, little bit of info on the test, if you may. And uh, we're going to continue moving on. The uh, game itself is actually built off of the Half-Life 2 engine. Um, bundled with the uh, the rest of the Source games. Uh, you got Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Portal, Portal 2, a lot of stuff goes together. And this is the official test one, and uh, you can see if any of that stuff lights up, that means it's part of the test. Last but not least, we have Cake as part of the test. Woohoo, that's last. Okay. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. See, the portal here switches between where it's supposed to be. Uh, it goes from that room to that room, then that room to that room, and then back. Basically, I need to take the cube from that room that's sealed off and put it on that button. It's pretty easy. Just come in here, grab it, come back out. Otherwise, you gotta wait for the portal to go all the way around again. Come in here and drop it off. Come back Perfect. out. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Now we're done with the first test. Does everybody feel a sense of accomplishment? I know I do. You're doing very well. 
Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Well, there's a, uh, a mechanism here with a bunch of arrows pointing towards it. Basically saying, come get me. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Okay. Sounds like our friendly neighborhood AI is having some issues. Um, if you look, uh, most of the surfaces in this room can be uh, portaled, but glass cannot put a portal on glass, and these uh, surfaces right here can't put anything on them. So, moving on. And so I've got one half of the uh, completed portal gun. I can only shoot blue portals right now. So I'm pretty much limited to where they want to place the orange portals thus far. I hope I do good on my tests. Oh, and uh, if you don't like them spying Please on you... Please proceed to the chamber lock. Shoot them with the portal that knocks them on the wall. Or off the to wall. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. You can pick up a lot of stuff. Uh, most of it's not important. And if you try to take it through the grill, eh, it goes bye-bye. I was, uh, I actually thought I was going to be in for more of a game. It's relatively short, uh, considering, uh, how big it was. Uh, Portal 2 is much longer. Um, unfortunately, I have not been, uh, able to get Portal 2 working 100%. Uh, when I do, I would like to make a let's play for that as well, Welcome but to test we're going to have to wait on four. that one. You're doing quite well. So this one is Beware of the Falling Blocks. Okay. There's the falling block. Hmm. So we can go in here, make a portal. Wow. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Uh-oh. No one to help me, no one to watch me. Whatever shall I do? What do we got on this test? Uh, beware of falling blocks. Okay. No cameras. Alrighty. Well, we got orange portal up there. We got a block there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get this block where I need it. On the ground. Hey, there's a camera. They lied. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Portal over there, grab that block. Now, I wonder... So you can't do that here, but later on in the game there's actually a button that lets you put a... Uh, anything on it, pretty much. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. That lovely computer AI that you keep hearing? That is Gladys. And, uh, she is our testing instructor computer thingy.
Okay, so what do we got now? We got Life safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Okay, high energy pellet. So beware high energy pellet, it will kill you and gotta get the energy pellet into the receptacle. Orange portal's there, receptacle's there. Hmm, shoot portal there. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. Hey, I'm gonna go one more test and then uh, pause for a minute. These tests are relatively quick. Um, 19 total tests. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay, well, pellets hidden there, orange portal over there, let's do that. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, gonna break here, and I will be right back. Thanks for watching.